Hey guys, welcome. So we're talking about um, the central limit theorem today. This was our first learning target. And the idea is regardless of the shape of the sampling or the raw data, regardless of the shape, the sampling distribution will be approximately normal if the sample size is large enough. And we saw that in the, the little tiny URL today. That when we had skewed data, and n was only two, it remained right skewed. But when we increased, so we made n 25, which is almost big enough to be positive, but even 25 was actually close enough to see that the data is starting to become approximately normal. So what was the other learning target? Well, we can use probability if the distribution is normal, and we can use it if it's, so when n is greater than 30, we know we can use normal distribution, and this is the formula the calculator is using. It's using the standard deviation, though, of the sampling distribution. So let's take a look at our question. It says, Keith is a manager of the auto center based on his service record of 3,500 customers. So that's his population. And this data is right skewed. So that's normally a problem unless n is 30 or greater. And what do you know? It's 40. So we can apply the central limit theorem and use our fancy calculator to get uh, an answer of probability. Even though the data is not normal, the population data is not, because n is, the sampling data will be normal. Okay, so let's keep reading. For a promotion, he's randomly selecting only 40 customers and offering them a free oil change if they redeem the author during the next month. His budget is he budgets an average of 35 minutes per customer. Hmm, will that be enough? So it sounds like it's going to be plenty enough time for the typical customer, but we also know that certain customers take longer. So let's take a look. This would be a very useful question for anyone owning a business. So you can see why this is really useful in the real world. So first it says, describe the shape, approximately normal, um, and our sampling distribution is going to be normal because 40 is greater than 30. Okay, that's the application of this and the concept of our tiny URL we saw in class today. What's next? Find the mean. Well, the mean of the sample should equal the mean of the population 30 minutes. But the standard deviation is going to be different because we're taking a sampling distribution. See how it's asking for the sampling distribution. Okay, so does this apply? So if we took 10%, and I actually like to write it out a different way, if 40, another, you can do it this way, or do 40 times 10 is 400, and notice our population is 3,500, so the number 400 is less than 3,500, so we are good. 10% condition is met. Okay, good. Awesome, right? Next, calculate the probability that the average time it takes to complete the work exceeds 35 minutes. So you can use this formula right here and find the area in the curve to the left, or you can do normal CDF because this formula says it's going to be normal even though the data was skewed. So normal CDF, 35 Upper bound, really big. Mean of our sampling distribution, they are asking for the average, was 30. And our standard deviation of the sampling distribution was that. Okay? Should get the same answer. Last part. What would be the average time per customer should Keith budget if he wants to be 99% certain. So it looks like only 5% or a little bit more than 5% of the time, the appointments are going to last longer than 35. So that's more, see how that's, that's more than the 99. So what am I trying to figure out here? What I'm trying to fi figure out is what is the area under the curve so that 99% of the time, that's also, right, 0.99, that's the area under the curve. They gave me the area under the curve is 0.99. So I want to know the location where 
the area under the curve to the left would be 0.99. Okay, so working backwards, instead of normal CDF, I need inverse normal. So if the area under the curve is 0.99, the mean is still 30, and the standard deviation is 3.16, then how much average time should he budget if he wants to be almost positively certain he won't go over? He should budget an average of 37.5 minutes if he wants to make sure he doesn't go over. Great job, guys. See you next time.